What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this video I'm going to take you through all the locations to the weapons and purchasable items as well as the power-ups and I'm going to explain to you what those do when we get to them. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Right, so off the bat, you're obviously going to have your SAF right here. That's going to cost you 10 ears for the first time. As you can see, it'll go up every time that you purchase. Next up, in the same building, you're going to have your stinger right there. And guys, in the description, you're going to have a timestamp to the various runs I'm doing. So if you're looking for a specific weapon, have a look down there. There's some shortcuts. Stamina cocktail right there. It's going to cost you 15. Then the SWAT, which would also cost you 10 or 15. 15 it is. Next up, just roll with it. Now, what this does is drastically reduces stamina with your rolling. So that can help, but not as good as some of the other ones. The PPSH, what I call the 41, it's going to be right there, and that's going to be 30 years. Frag grenade right there, that is going to be 30 years. And then the crowd breaker inside is going to be another 30. Then we're going to have the RPD, continuing from this location. It's going to be right over here for 40 years. And then the flashbang for 20 right here. I'm going to do a couple of other runs in this area. I'm going to go pretty much this side of the railway line or the uh, train is where I'm going. So the first one is going to be on the roof of this building. And I'm fairly certain I've got them all, but if I did miss any, please let me know. I did give it a thorough search. There's the C8 rifle there. That one took me a while to find for 10 years. Next up, little stubby is going to be right over here. And then the SSR, which I nearly ran past. That's going to be 10 ears as well. Head rush. This uh, killing enemies restores health. That's what this head rush is. That could be quite useful. And that's going to cost you, what is that, 250 ears. That's quite expensive for the first one. You're going to have your med kit right here as well. That's going to be 20 ears. Okay, now we're going to run to the other side. Now search that encampment. There's nothing else in there, just the one med kit. So we're going to go to the silo over here and we're going to find our MG45 at the bottom of it. And in a couple of minutes, I'll show you the MG55, which is going to be at the top. So next one, bandage for five right there. Two birds, one bullet is going to be increased penetration for all ranged weapons. It's going to be right there. Eliminator for 10 ears right over here. Then the BFG for 40 ears will be on the wall over here. Or should I say the barn? Probably could hit the side of the barn with that, with the size of that sniper rifle chicago chopper my favorite is going to be right there for 50 years next up the health cocktail is going to be chilling right on this side then the remote bomb within it's going to be over here that's going to be 20 years then we're going to go for the proximity bomb not to be confused with the remote bomb. It's going to be right over here. That's going to be 20 freaky ears as well. And then the pipe bomb is going to be sitting just around the corner here. Getting close to danger territory here. Okay, the next run. First one is going to be ear to the ground. And this also could be quite useful. This is going to outline freakers in the survival vision. And uh, just like the normal mode playthrough, you can see them through. Sorry, the US 556 first is going to be right there. And then ear to the ground, which is going to be 50 freaky ears, is going to be right over here. That's going to be quite useful as well. And then carry that weight, increases inventory space for all collectibles. Now on the description it says for crafting materials, but that's just not the case here. I'm assuming it's for the collectibles, just uh, increased carry capacity. Okay, next up we're going to have the attractor bomb, which is going to cost you 40 years. Head back to the building. This time up them stairs. That's where the proximity bomb is. Let me across the bridge to the left is going to be your tractor. Pretty sure you'll come here a fair amount of times. 
That's going to be 40 as well. Then the Growler upstairs. Now I think it's 50 for the first purchase, but I couldn't tell. Right there. Have a closer look at that. Coming out this side, we're going to head around to the Napalm Molotov. That's going to be 30 Freaky Ears. One more level down. Love it. Here they come. Next up is going to be the Liberator. Which is going to be on the concrete over here. That's going to be 25 Freaky Ears. The IDF Pup is right next to it. In proximity. And then the proximity mine is going to be right there for 30 Freaky Ears. From there, we're going to go to the Focus Cocktail. For 15 years against the silo right over here. In case you're wondering, there's nothing inside the police car, boot or bonnet. I suppose the bonnet will be uh, scrap. Okay, final run is going to be the auto shotgun and the MG55. Now that is going to be in this building as well, or on top of it if you will. Let me know what you think of this challenge. Uh, with the surprise boxes, which uh, are turning out to be a little bit useless. People are just opening them and then running away. Because you only kind of got to pick up the growler when it suits you to pick it up. Okay, so it's going to be one level up over here. Auto shotgun right there. And then we're going to go to the MG55. Which is going to be the end of the bridge over there. Well, it's not really a bridge, it's more of a conveyor belt. right over here and that is going to cost you 80 freaky ears now i did waddle onto the police car and i want to show you a little clip now showing you that the boot is actually empty i'm pretty sure the bonnet will have scrap but the back's got nada on this run but guys that's going to bring us to the end if you're having any trouble on any challenge email me about share play i'm always going to reply um, and it's not just this game any game that you're having issues with with any trophy you've been trying to get for a long time email me and we can work something out and get you those tricky trophies once and for all so i'm going to leave you with a couple of minutes gameplay guys please smash the like button if you're enjoying the content and subscribe if you are really enjoying it so i want to say thanks for watching and i want to catch you on the next one